great recording has been started okay, yeah, good perfect. Thank, you. Mm -hmm. thank you so much rajat good morning uh, to everybody in us good afternoon to everybody uh, across the world i think there are people joining from all over the world so thank you so much good evening to people in india and assalamu alaikum my name is ali wazafar and i'm the uh, chair of the sayed global scholar awards ssgsa and today we have a very important uh, uh, webinar this is the fourth webinar in series uh, this webinar is on the topic of statement of purpose, communicate, communicating your true potential, and uh, uh, this webinar is, give, uh, is being given by the, uh, the actually the founder of uh, the CSA, Dehan ba, Dr. Dehan Bhakti Bhai, and uh, Dehan, uh, brother, can you go to the next slide, please? Mm -hmm. So Dehan Bhai, Dehan Bhai, actually, uh, my first inter uh, my first. Uh, Connection of SSGSA uh, was through Rihan Bhai. Actually, Rihan Bhai came to chemical department in 2012, chemistry department, and then I actually came to know. At that time, it was SESA, SSGSA, and then Rihan Bhai introduced me to SESA. And uh, then through after that, uh, I uh, all my SOP statement of purpose, uh, my letter of recommendation, everything was reviewed by Rihan Bhai. So I, I actually am looking very forward to this. Uh, uh, this session, and I'm, I'm hopeful that you all will be getting getting best of, out of this, taking notes and everything that you can. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting uh, webinar. I just get, I can't see your screen, but anyway, so Rahan Bhai actually finished his postdoc from Harvard. He actually uh, finished his uh, uh, post graduation from Michigan State University, and also was an alumni of Aligarh Muslim University. He finished his uh, plus two and bachelors uh, in from chemistry department. Uh, so Rambai, maafi jaga agar kuch main galat kare raha hu, telling from my memory, I uh, can't see the screen. Uh, but uh, Rambai has been a great mentor, support, and uh, currently is also a uh, executive member, and has been a great support for all of us, providing us suggestions and guidance, and all of you who will be sending us uh, your statement of purpose or all those. Uh, as scholars will be sending us, Dehan Bhai will be uh, the person who is going to review and is in the review panel and always helpful in that uh, sense. So I think with that, I'm very looking forward for this uh, webinar and I hope you guys all taking notes. The instruction slides, uh, Rajat, if you go to the instruction slide, please. Uh, instruction slide, if you can see, uh, you have to take notes. Please take notes. The, uh, the slides are only for supporting purpose. Whatever Rihan Bhai is going to tell you uh, is not exactly will be written in the slides. Uh, so please take notes. It's very, very important. Uh, apart from that, be very engaged. Ask questions uh, during, uh, during the uh, presentation. Uh, obviously, you all are muted right now. You can ask questions in the chat box. And Rajat and myself will be moderating the call. So we will be taking uh, those questions at the end of the call, or we can take in the uh, as uh, as uh, Rehan Bhai, uh, Rehan Bhai will uh, join, uh, will give the presentation, he can take the question in the middle as well. So we'll try to make this presentation as interactive as possible, and I hope you all will be uh, uh, will be very engaged uh, throughout. And we will also be sharing, I, I just uh, saw Wasik could also join, uh, he will also be sharing, and everybody will be sharing a little bit at the end about our experience of Terminal of Purpose, what is the importance, and and throughout, Rehan Bhai will be giving you all suggestions. So uh, thank you so much, Rehan Bhai, for your time. Uh, I know you have a busy schedule, but I'm very glad that you joined. And I am looking forward. We all are looking forward for this webinar. So over to, over to you, Rehan Bhai. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. Bhaut bhaut shukriya. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Um, Ali has a very concise introduction diya hai, uh, you know, to my background and uh, uh, to what I, I bring but uh, the important thing is to remember okay you know this is a this is a session this is a webinar that is designed to to make sure that you know all of you understand it's not it should not be a one way download agar ye ek one way download ban gaya to it will not have the same impact that we want it to have so 
टू बी एज इंटरक्टिव एज पॉसिबल आई नो अली ने कहा यू नो के वी विल हैव क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एट द एंड वी मोस्ट सर्टेनली विल हैव अ डेडिकेटेड टाइम फॉर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स लेकिन मैं चाहता हूँ कि जैसे जैसे हम इस कॉन्वर्सेशन को आगे बढ़ाएं अगर आपके पास कोई क्वेश्चन हों इफ देर आर एनी प्रेसिंग क्वेश्चन दैर आर रेलिवेंट टू द स्लाइड और रेलिवेंट टू वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट नाउ देन प्लीज इमीजिएटली आप उनको चैट बॉक्स में अपने वो करिए एंड रजत एन अली एम एन आई वुड बी हैप्पी आई वुड एक्चुअली प्रिफर टेकिंग क्वेश्चन एज दे कम इन सो सो दे आर स्टिल फ्रेश एंड रेलिवेंट टू द कॉन्वर्सेशन इफ दैट इज ओके विद यू Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So um, once again, you know, make sure that um, you uh, you're taking notes, just as Alina said, and uh, uh, ask questions. Jo jo chhi samajh mein aaye, there's no bad question. There's no uh, naive question, dumb question. There's nothing like that. All questions are are good questions. All right. So jo apko sawal puchne hai, aaj puch lijiye. This is your opportunity. Uske baad thir uh, itne saare apko पैनलिस्ट जो सक्सेसफुल जैसे अली हैं वसीकुल हैं रजत हैं ऑन द लाइन इतने सारे शायद अली भाई पता नहीं अली रजी भाई हैं या नहीं है लेकिन देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑन दिस कॉल अदर देन मी हु कैन ऑल्सो गिव यू वेरी वैल्यूबल इनसाइट एंड यू वोट गेट द रीच मेनी पीपल टू गिव देर ओपिनियन एट द सेम प्लेस अगेन सो इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चन डोंट हेजिटेट टू आस्क सो वट डू वी वॉन्ट टू कवर टू दे चार थिंग फोर थिंग्स वट एग्जैक्टली इज द एस ओ पी हर कोई बात करता है कि एस ओ पी लिखना है एस ओ पी लिखना है वट एग्जैक्टली इज दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द यू नो फुल फॉर्म वट डज इट रियली रियली मीन टू हैव अ गुड एस ओ पी वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो वाई वाई डू वी नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट अक्सर ऐसा होता है मैंने बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स का देखा है कि जी आर ई और टोफल के प्रेपरेशन में बिल्कुल ऐसा खो जाते हैं विच इज राइटफुली यू नो दे गेट सो इन्वॉल्व देयर टेस्ट प्रेपरेशन के स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज एक आफ्टर थॉट बन जाता है एंड एंड दैट शुड नॉट बी द केस सो वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट हाउ डज वन राइट अ गुड एस ओ पी वॉट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ गुड एस ओ पी ऑब्वियसली हम Uh, आपको एस ओ पी एग्जाम्पल नहीं देंगे क्योंकि एवरी एस ओ पी हैज टू बी अ यूनिक स्टोरी इट हैज टू बी योर स्टोरी एंड वील टॉक अबाउट दैट लेटर इन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन सो इफ यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग कि आपको टेम्पलेट हैंड आउट की जाएंगी सो दैट विल नॉट हैपन बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट यू टू बी क्रिएटिव एंड यूनिक टू ब्रिंग आउट योर आइडेंटिटी एंड योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड योर मोटिवेशन सो यू वोट गेट अ टेम्पलेट लेकिन आपको जो मिलेगा वो मिलेगा एक फ्रेमवर्क हाउ डू यू build from the ground up a good sop and then finally you know uh, throughout the uh, presentation aap dekhenge ki kuch humne examples uh, include kiye hain jisme main aapko dikhaunga common mistakes jo log karte hain these are very common and and please please note and this is extremely important ke ye aapko case studies aur jo examples hum dikhayenge aaj ye aapke amusement ke liye nahi hai they some of them will be funny but they're not for amusement please don't laugh at them because these are mistakes that everyone does many we kiye the mistakes aur aap bhi karenge unless someone tells you not to do so so the point of sharing these examples is not for your entertainment but for you to realize and recognize how easy it is to fall in those in that trap of of you know that क्लीशेड एस ओ पी जिसको बोलते हैं कि यू नो रन ऑफ द मिल फैक्ट्री सेटिंग पे डिफॉल्ट मोड में जो तैयार होता है वो कैसे अवॉइड किया जाए सो सो वील टॉक अबाउट दैट सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लाइव एंड टॉक अबाउट वट एग्जैक्टली इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज राइट आई मीन यू विल सी एप्लीकेशन डिफरेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज के डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन के जो गाइडलाइंस होंगी उसमें अलग अलग वो होता है इसको नाम लिया जाता है यू कैन कॉल इट अ पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट समटाइम्स देर इज नथिंग यू नो स्पेसिफिक सो देन इट्स इंक्लूडेड इन द कवर लेटर यू कैन कॉल इट अ पर्सनल एस ए अक्सर जो मैनेजमेंट लेवल के कोर्सेज होंगे उसमें पर्सनल एस ए इनको कहा जाता है वट इज इट इट इज बेसिकली वन ऑफ द थ्री मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स 
four most important elements of your graduate school application. What are the four most in, four important elements of your graduate school in, in application? First and foremost, your GRE TOEFL, right? Your standardized test. If you have GMAT, then the GMAT. Basically, the standardized test hai, that is your first filter. If your score agar threshold meet your threshold, then you will be considered forward. If you have not threshold meet the school or the program, then your application will be good your resume will be strong, your SOP will be good it will not be considered forward. So, the first and foremost requirement is to beat that threshold, GRE TOEFL threshold, and that is why you need to be absolutely on top of your test preparation. The second element of your graduate school application is going to be your resume. How do you craft your resume? This is a very good webinar. Uh, hafte, uh, bhai or, um, I, I think Vasikul Nashad uh, uh, present kiya tha. And uh, uh, I, I mean, that is an extremely important piece of document because it's, it presents the full package of your application. Aapki application, jo agar, uh, sirf mark sheets lagani shuru kar dein, or certificates lagani shuru kar dein, to 50 page ki ho sakti hai. How do you, com- you know, compress everything in two pages and present that information, package it? That is the second most important thing. The third important thing is your statement of purpose, which is absolutely critical once your, you beat the threshold of the test, you get into your resume, uh, and your resume meets the basic requirements of that program. How do you differentiate from the competition, right? And this is your story. This is your chance. कि आप बताएं कि अभी तक आपने जो किया, उसकी क्या कहानी है, और आगे आप जो कर सकते हैं, उसका क्या potential है. So think of it as a you know a full journey from before now to later in your future. उस पूरी जर्नी को आपको कैप्चर करना है एक स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस में सो सो दैट इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट द फोर्थ थिंग व्हिच आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कवर टुडे एट ऑल इज द लेटर ऑफ रेकमेंडेशन दैट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई थिंक एट सम पॉइंट वी विल हैव दैट कन्वर्सेशन विद यू इन अ डिफरेंट वेबिनार सो दोस आर द फोर क्रिटिकल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट नंबर 3 स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस व्हाई इज इट रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टू डिफरेंशिएट योरसेल्फ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड What I'm showing here today is a lot of numbers. And what I want you to take away from this, very simple, is how difficult the competition is. Okay. When a Princeton or Duke, Princeton is high-ranking university. Duke is also a really, really good school, but not in the same category, not in the top 10 like Princeton. So one is top tier, one is, you know, above average. Dono ko mene isliye rakha hai taki you get a sense of what the competition will look like for you. All right. Ye matter, ye differ karega from department to department. Ye differ karega from stream to stream. Uh, ye differ karega MS to PhD. But ye general overall numbers mein aapko dikha raha hon ke Princeton mein 12% total applications ko offer mila. Applicants ko offer mila. International applicants kitne the? 8% successful. Out of 5,857, about 500 got offers. 8%, I mean, that is like one, less than 1 in 10. Thus, applications may say come, eight application ko offer milega in Princeton. And that is very high competition. Not because aap, usko IIT medical se compare mat kariye. Aap ye compare kariye ke jitne log apply kar rahe hain, ye saare bahut hi motivated or bahut hi talented hain. So, your pool is already very enriched. Hai. It, it is not like engineering college ke 25,000 in 25,000. Um, Its statistics are much more difficult. Its numbers are much more difficult. But there are many candidates in 25,000. In 25,000, you don't have to take care of it. This is different. If you have 10,000 applications, then you can understand that 10,000 are highly motivated. Hai, and they have achi- all achieved sufficient test scores ke unko itna confidence hai ke unki application yaha consider ki jayegi so it is a very enriched pool same thing with duke not as high ranking but still 18% overall and 16% 15 16% for international offers so 
what is the point of of this why why am i showing you these numbers the reason i'm showing you these numbers is because not to not to scare you ye ye aapko ye darane ke liye nahi hai ke um aap aap soche ga re bada mushkil hai main nahi kar paunga kar paunga ye kar paunga the reason of showing this is to impress upon you how close the applications will be bahut sari aise applications honge jo bilkul identical test scores honge very similar backgrounds honge academic backgrounds then how does the committee decide ki kon kisko offer milega kisko nahi milega that comes down to your statement of purpose so that is the importance right how do you differentiate yourself from someone who is at par completely you know in the running comp- same competition so so that is why we need that I'll take a pause here and and give 30 seconds any questions so far I don't okay. see any questions in the chat box. Yep, I don't okay. see any question. Um let me emphasize Ryan by I think uh, for everybody to understand it's very very important to take notes and make sure that you note down your questions as well otherwise you will forget. I cannot emphasize how much important this is for your uh, preparation. So please ask questions it's very very important. Thank you Ryan by. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you. And 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 like I said ki aap uh, jaise se uh presentation aage bade please ask keep asking questions and we'll get to them right away all right so let's go to the next slide how do we start writing how do we start thinking about what a good sop is and this is true for any any piece that you write chahe aap creative writing kar rahe hain aap chahe story likh rahe hain chahe aap poetry likh rahe hain chahe aap statement of purpose likh rahe hain it all begins with having a very clear vision of what your objectives are right and when you have to you don't need to know ki story shuru hui hai kahan khatam hogi don't get me wrong iski zarurat nahi hai wo ho sakta hai ki aap evolve kare as you write zaruri ye hai ki aapko ye malum hona chahiye ki aap isme se chahte kya hai what do you want to get out of this sop and that is that is critical before you sit down to write so remember that the most important thing here is that your sop is not a stand alone document it is not an afterthought ye koi aisi cheez nahi hai jo aap matlab aap likh rahe ho koi padhega nahi aapne socha ki are yaar inko 500 do do page ke letters sop milenge kaun padhta hai kisko padhta hai no the truth is ke padhe jaate hain unko 30 seconds mein padha jata hai pehle अगर वो अच्छे होते हैं तो फिर उनको आगे पढ़ा जाता है अगर वो बहुत होते हैं तो उनको विद इन थर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड साइड में टॉस कर दिया जाता है एंड यू आर आउट यू आर आउट ऑफ द गेम यू ओनली गेट अबाउट वन मिनट यू नो फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड एट बेस्ट सिक्सटी सेकेंड टू मेक योर मार्क एंड दैट इज वाई योर एस ओ पी हैज टू स्टार्ट वेल राइट बट वट 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 डू यू वॉन्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट मैंने कहा ना ऑब्जेक्टिव क्लियर होने चाहिए So if you go to the next slide that's it your sop should be the story behind your resume and ye cheez aap kai baar sunenge aaj main kai baar repeat karunga and i'm going to emphasize this because it's extremely important this pure presentation mein agar aap ek cheez yaad rakhe aur ghar le jaye aur apne doston ko bataye aur sari zindagi practice kare wo ek cheez ye hai ke आपका रेज्यूमे जो होता है आपका जो सीवी है वो सारी दुनिया को बताता है कि आपने किया क्या है ठीक है वो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है पूरा एक लिस्ट है क्रोनोलॉजी में कि आपके क्या अचीवमेंट्स हैं, आपने किया क्या है आपका स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस उसके पीछे की कहानी बताता है कि आपने जो डिसीजन ली जिंदगी में वो क्यों ली आपके जो अचीवमेंट है उनका इम्पैक्ट क्या हुआ आपके ऊपर क्या हुआ दुनिया तो क्या हुआ जो भी आपने अपने रेज्यूमे में लिखा है उसके पीछे की जो जो कहानी जो आप रेज्यूमे में बिकॉज ऑफ स्पेस और बिकॉज ऑफ फॉर्मैट नहीं लिख सकते दैट ब्रिज हैज टू कम इन टू योर एस ओ पी दैट योर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज इज दैट ब्रिज बिटवीन योर रेज्यूमे एंड वाई योर रेज्यूमे लुक्स लाइक इट डज आई मीन आई होप दैट इज वेरी क्लियर दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड 
it it is not a stand alone document it is a bridge to your resume so you cannot distinguish between the two you cannot separate them completely you have to you have to think about it carefully pehle aap apna resume banaiye isi wajah se main main ye aapko dikha raha hu humne seminar webinar pe jo humne kiya wo pehle isi ne resume ka kiya kyunki pehle aap apna resume banaiye us resume ke basis pe aapka statement of purpose likha jayega is that clear any questions All right. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. So there are three steps, and we will get to all three steps of writing your of statement of purpose. First step is pehle uska framework define karna hoga. Because koi bhi aap um, SOP ka guidelines padhenge. तो गाइडलाइंस बहुत स्पेसिफिक होती हैं आई डोंट नो आप में से कितने ऑलरेडी लिख चुके हैं स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस किसी यूनिवर्सिटी एप्लीकेशन के लिए जिन्होंने एस एस जी एस के लिए अप्लाई किया था उन्होंने एसओपी लिखा होगा उसमें भी गाइडलाइंस थी हमारी वर्ड लिमिट और क्या होना चाहिए सो एवरी एस ओ पी दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑफ यू इज गोइंग टू हैव गाइडलाइंस and that is why it is really important that you first sit down and you understand what are the internal and external guidelines right what are the what do you what, what do i mean by that your external guidelines are things like word limit are things like format so let's let's go to the next slide so jaise length hai style hai sop ka ye aapke external guidelines hai ठीक है ये आपको मिलती है इनका आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं नथिंग यू कैन डू अबाउट इट एंड यू हैव टू वर्क विद इन दिस देन देर आर योर इंटरनल गाइडलाइंस फॉर योर फ्रेमवर्क व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट इज दैट दैट इज मीन दैट मींस कि आपका आप पहले आइडेंटिफाई करिए कि आपका क्या रेलिवेंट अचीवमेंट्स हैं जो आप इसमें हाईलाइट करना चाहते हैं क्या ऐसे आपके अचीवमेंट्स हैं जो इस इस पोजिशन से रेलिवेंट है Uh, is uh, for for you know whatever your um, uh, whether is it research skills is it your academic merit kya publications aapke hain aise jo aap highlight karna chahte hain koi leadership experience hai koi extra curricular experience hai sab to nahi kiya ja sakta agar aapke do page ka resume hai aap sab ke bare mein nahi likh sakte because that is going to dilute the impact of your sop the sop has to only hit on the absolute key highlights that basically shaped your career right so first you have to sit down and um i think versicol ka message aa raha hai ke some people are having problem in hearing the voice ali um rajat can you hear me clear and is that a problem no, we can, we can hear you clearly yeah. but i think it's only for those participants they can also join through the audio so you can continue we'll, we'll take care of Okay. Some participants so, have problem with audio. It's, it's okay. Uh, and I will continue. Uh, okay, I'll take you. So, what and what achievements you want to highlight, and right? that is really important. And then you have to ask, why are you applying to this university? Agar by US and I'm making up a number. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm making up a number. If there are five thousand universities in the US. of which 500 have the program that you are interested in why are you applying to this particular university ye bahut important question hai and you have to ask because every sop has to be customized to that application to that institution okay agar aap main example de raha hu agar aap uh, university of california कि किसी उसमें कैंपस पे कर रहे हैं अप्लाई कर रहे हैं इस चीज में कर रहे हैं या आप न्यूयॉर्क यूनिवर्सिटी में कर रहे हैं एन वाई यू में वाई आर यू अप्लाइंग टू एन वाई यू इज देर यू नो इज दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ हाई रैंकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी इज इट बिकॉज द प्रोग्राम दैट यू आर अप्लाइंग टू अगर आप बायो केमिस्ट्री में जाना चाहते हैं या केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग में जाना चाहते हैं या मैनेजमेंट के किसी कोर्स में वो करना चाहते हैं इज इट बिकॉज दैट कोर्स और इज इट बिकॉज आप रिसर्च करना चाहते हैं आप पी एच डी करना चाहते हैं 
molecular biology man there's this uh, really really famous and world renowned scientist who works there ye aapko matlab aging pe kaam karni hai and there's a scientist who is famous for that why very important question because that's the question that the university will look for bhai aap unless and until you are you know the most brilliant candidate in the pool the university you have to justify to the university why they should take you right above are the others above everyone else so to to justify that you have to have a very clear answer to this question why are you applying to this particular university so when when you start thinking about the last two bullets on this slide ki aapke kya relevant achievements hain jo aap highlight kar rahe hain aur aap kyun is university mein mein jana chahte hain that actually is feeding back to your third bullet right now which is why are you a good fit right because that's that should be the um question why are you a good fit so i see there's a question what should be the criteria um i'm happy to answer um but mohammad ali khan but i just want to make sure ke i understand the question correctly are you um, can you clarify what should be the criteria for the achievements or why you want to apply to this university let me talk about achievements while you know we we wait to hear from um ali so okay so also university ranking so criteria jaise maine kaha ke achievements ka criteria kya hona chahiye let me give you examples i organized the hostel annual annual hall uh, function okay you organized the annual hall function great what are you applying for i am applying for a course in mechanical engineering all right is that relevant aap jawab dijiye is that relevant no it's not relevant right i mean it's it's fine agar aap ek resume mein apne ek leadership skills ka section rakhna chahte hain which i i strongly encourage and usme aap likhna chahte hain apni leadership aur extra curriculum ke bare mein that's fine that's a good place for it आपका एसओ भी अगर आपको 300 वर्ड या 500 वर्ड का लिमिट है और उसमें अगर आप टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हैं और वर्ड्स वेस्ट कर रहे हैं अपने कॉलेज फंक्शन के बारे में लिखने में देन और या हॉल फंक्शन के देन दैट्स नॉट रेलिवेंट राइट आई मीन दैट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट यू यू कैन यू नो जस्टिफाई योर एडमिशन और सो दैट दैट्स द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग हाउ वॉट आर की रेलिवेंट अचीवमेंट्स यू हैव टू डिसाइड even if it is a research skill that is not relevant agar aap oceanography ke liye underwater research aapne kari on the condition of jellyfish in the pacific ocean i just made that up but you you conducted two months of research on that okay great that is fantastic what are you applying for a degree in law is that relevant no not not at all you can bring it into your sop and basically show it as something else aapko ek you have to give it a positive spin and you should definitely give a positive spin to all your unique experiences because that may have been something that you know led to you deciding that you want to and again i'm making it up you know you aapne us jellyfish pe research kari do mahine pacific ocean mein and then you realize pani bahut ganda hai and then you realize ki ki zimmedar corporations hain and you wanted to sue them and then you decided to become a lawyer okay that's a story right and that's how you bring in your experience you don't say because you did research on jellyfish for two months you want to become a lawyer all right so that i hope that is clear so the second point why are you applying to this university the criteria is something that you know obviously should take into account ki university ki standing kaisi hai program ki standing kaisi hai और आप जहाँ जा रहे हैं उसमें आपका इंटरेस्ट मैच होता है या नहीं होता तो मैंने जो तीन आपको एग्जांपल दिए हैं यहाँ पे दीज आर द थ्री मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ऑन व्हाई यू शुड डू दैट आर दे रिलेटेड टू एक्डेमिक्स सोशल एनीथिंग लीडरशिप एक्सपीरियंस 
लीडरशिप एक्सपीरियंस का हमने गुड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दैट समथिंग दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन द रेजुमे वेबिनार विच आई होप उसका प्रेजेंटेशन आपको विल बी मेड अवेलेबल बट आई विल जस्ट टच अपॉन दिस वेरी यू नो क्विकली के लीडरशिप एक्सपीरियंस में सोशल और एकेडमिक दोनों इम्पॉर्टेंट होते हैं एंड दे आर बोथ इम्पॉर्टेंट क्योंकि ये याद रखिएगा कि यूनिवर्सिटीज जो हैं वो लीडर्स ढूंढती हैं जो अच्छी यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं वो लीडर्स ढूंढती हैं स्कॉलरशिप्स के लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हैं सो दे वॉन्ट टू सी दैट यू आर यू हैव द पोटेंशियल यू हैव द पोटेंशियल एंड यू कैन बी प्रो एक्टिव so so that is something that should come out in your resume and also your sop uh, and i hope that answers your question so they can be both you know whether you are uh, um, president of the robotics club or uh, that is your academic leadership or you are the you know uh, volunteer at a, um, a social welfare organization so everything counts everything counts as long as you can write about it in a good way as long as you can give a positive reason to why it has shaped your career decisions and how it has impacted you how it has made you the person you are as long as you can do that any leadership experience is a good experience all right let's move to the next slide and we'll talk more about this uh later so if, you know if you have questions keep sending them in so the first was defining your framework एक बार आपने फ्रेमवर्क डिफाइन कर लिया आप बैठे पेन और पेपर के साथ आपने सबसे पहले अपने सारे गाइडलाइंस इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल गाइडलाइंस नोट कर ली अब आप उस फ्रेमवर्क को कनेक्ट करिए उस उसको फ्लैश आउट करिए लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट लाइन हाउ डू यू फ्लैश योर फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट आपकी गाइडलाइंस को जो एक्सटर्नल गाइडलाइंस है उनको सामने रखिए जो इंटरनल गाइडलाइंस है उनको बुलेट पॉइंट में लिखिए and bullet points ko you start writing simple two to three line paragraphs for each bullet point very simple agar aapke for example main aapko example de raha hu agar aapne um, aapki internal guidelines jo internal framework usme aapne uh, teen achievements rakhe hain aapne bola ki mujhe apne research experience ke bare mein baat karni hai mujhe apne um, जो मैंने हॉल फंक्शन है उसकी लीडरशिप के बारे में बात करनी है और मुझे अपने पब्लिकेशन के बारे में बात करनी है ठीक है फाइन गुड नो प्रॉब्लम राइट दो थ्री बुलेट पॉइंट एंड नाउ स्टार्ट राइटिंग टू और थ्री लाइन्स फॉर ईच वन ऑफ दैम एंड दे शुड बी रियली रियली सिंपल दे शुड बी वेरी वेरी कंसाइज दे शुड बेसिकली टेल द व्यू द रीडर and and please make a note of this please write this down because i don't have this on the slide so make sure you're writing this down make sure that you tell them what the context is theek hai kya situation thi kya usme matlab thoda sa background dijiye dusra aap usko phir uske baad bataiye ki kya problem kya hui thi main aapko example dunga in just a second once i tell you the framework so you have the situation then you have what was the problem then you say what was the action and then you say what was the uh, result okay so uh, situation problem action and result spar okay remember this spar that is your s p a r that is your framework for writing all your all your bullet points now for example research ke bare mein humne baat kari तो आपका फर्स्ट बुलेट पॉइंट रिसर्च पे होना है आपको स्पार फ्रेमवर्क उसमें अप्लाई करना है हाउ डू यू अप्लाई द एस पी ए आर फ्रेमवर्क सिचुएशन सिचुएशन ये है कि ड्यूरिंग द समर ऑफ नाइनटीन यू नो नाइन टू ओल्ड ड्यूरिंग द समर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवन टू थाउजेंड एंड एट यू डिसाइडेड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन फॉर सम ऑफ योर केसेज यू डिसाइडेड दैट यू नो um jellyfish migrate in uh, the pacific ocean because of your interest in you know oceanography that is the situation what was the problem the problem that you addressed so you joined the oceanography institute in wherever and you decided and you started working on uh, the effects of electrical currents on on jellyfish migration 
ओके दैट इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक कि आपने किया क्या क्यों किया था ये आपने पहले बताया कि क्यों क्या क्यों जरूरी है कि जेलीफिश माइग्रेशन इज समथिंग दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम यू नो रिजल्टिंग इन डिक्लाइन इन दैट पॉपुलेशन क्या आपने किया क्या था सो बेसिकली वेरी स्पेसिफिक कंसाइज वन सेंटेंस ऑन व्हाट योर रिसर्च वाज द सेकंड द थर्ड इज एक्शन राइट एक्शन में आप क्या कहेंगे कि व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डिड यू डू प्रोजेक्ट का आपने नाम बता दिया कि मैंने उसका माइग्रेशन पढ़ा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट्स एंड देन द एक्शन शुड बी हाउ यू डिड इट सो यू स्पेंड टू मंथ्स इन यू नो इन 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 द मिडल ऑफ द पैसेफिक ओशन ऑन अ बोट डाइविंग अंडर सी सिक्स आवर्स अ डे टू यू नो विद अ कैमरा एंड बैरामीटर टू मेजर द प्रेशर और इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्स के लिए आप जो मेजर करते हैं जो आपका वो है ओके वट एवर ऑल द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यू टू कॉल द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स डाउन दैट यू गेट द एसेंस दैट शुड बी द एक्शन दैट यू डेड कि आपने यू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद अ बिग पिक्चर सिचुएशन जेली फिश पॉपुलेशन इज डिक्लाइनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ माइग्रेशन ट्रबल then you get to the problem the problem was that you studied the effect of electrical currents on jellyfish migration then you get to the action what exactly you did you spent time in the pacific ocean doing this for for two months underwater and then should be the result what was the result of that the result was that you discovered that uh, you know it is uh, uh, and again i'm just making making all this up i'm not an expert in oceanography but you know you will discover that the result of this is you know pollution on the on the west coast of the pacific ocean that is resulting in a uh, change of electrical currents that is the result right and that should be your framework for every paragraph that you write any questions on the spar framework okay good so then aapne chote chote paragraphs ji hello rehan bhai um was equal so mera i have one question that actually i have observed that uh, uh, in some universities so mainly generally uh, for phd uh, aspirants applicants so the sob becomes the research proposal sometimes but i have observed that some there are some universities who require separate sops and a separate research proposal so in that case will should there be a different approach while writing sop as you mentioned that one point should be my leadership in research kind of thing so what no, what no, is I, what will be your suggestion yeah. that? no that that's a good question mr gold so I, i i never said one point should be leadership i'm just saying that you know it is up to you to decide what your points will be but to answer your question uh should there be a research proposal no absolutely not a statement of purpose is never a research proposal if a, a university wants a research proposal they will ask for a research proposal and then you will provide a research proposal as a separate document the sop should never be an extended research proposal because because that's not the purpose of it and let's face it कि आपका रिसर्च प्रपोजल आप एक पेज पे कोई बहुत यू नो एन आई एस ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग प्रपोजल तो आप नहीं लिख पाएंगे तो इज इट वर्थ यू नो यू इवन ट्राइंग टू इम्प्रेस द फैकल्टी विद एन आइडिया दैट यू नो मे ओ मे नॉट यू नो वर्क विद देम मे बी मे बी बट देन लिमिटेड लिमिटेड टू वन पैराग्राफ राइट इफ यू हैव अ ग्रेट आइडिया and you think ke kisi uh, faculty ko aap ye idea de sakte hain aur aap bata sakte hain ke uh, you know instead of doing this you should be doing this that's fine that's perfectly okay if that's what you think but you have to limit it to one paragraph don't make it the the full sop all right so so research proposal separate hona chahiye uh, sop se maine jab apply kiya main aapko apne experience se bata sakta hu maine jab apply kiya to mera kafi research experience tha मैंने टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट से टी आई एफ आर से मैंने एम एस सी करी थी तो मेरा बाई रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस था एम एस बाई रिसर्च सो देन आई 
initially when I drafted my SOP, I realized कि बहुत मैं research experience था जो मैं लिखना चाहता था क्योंकि strong research experience था तो मैं उसको highlight करना चाहते था and I realized कि 70% of SOP मेरा जो था वो research experience बन गया so what I eventually ended up doing is even though I was not asked for a separate document उसमें कहीं अलग से नहीं लिखा था research experience अलग लिखी है मैंने एक अलग one page document लिखा पूरा research experience का और उसको मैंने साथ में सबमिट कर दिया तो एसओपी में मैंने उसको रेफरेंस किया मैंने कहा यू नो मोर डिटेल्स इन दैट अकम्पनिंग रिसर्च डॉक्यूमेंट एंड उसको मैंने साथ में हर यूनिवर्सिटी में होता है कि एडिशनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स अपलोड करने के लिए जगह होती है तो एज अ सेपरेट अडेंडम उसको मैंने अपलोड कर दिया था सो सो यू कैन दैट इज हाउ यू कैन ब्रेक अप योर एसओपी एंड रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस There's a question online uh, from Vibhu. Does it apply to every situation? I'm assuming you're talking about the SPAR framework. Like if you did not started uh, your project like that, many a times it happens that we do projects just because the professor recommended you to do that, and that's fine, right? I mean, it's again a question of oh, can you justify it, right? I mean, आपको professor ने उसको आपसे कहा करने के लिए, but professor की भी तो कोई justifications होंगी ना? Professor ने अगर ये decide किया कि Uh, मुझे डीएनए uh, का कमेंट ऐसे करना है तो प्रोफेसर की क्या रीजन थे एंड इफ यू डोंट नो यू शुड आस्क द प्रोफेसर एंड यू शुड आस्क योर प्रोफेसर कि व्हाई डिड यू थिंक ऑफ डूइंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट दिस प्रोजेक्ट वाज नेसेसरी एट दिस टाइम एंड दीज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वर नेसेसरी सो यू कैन बेसिकली यू नो वर्क थ्रू वट एवर योर एक्सपीरियंस इज लाइक आई सेड एवरी एक्सपीरियंस इज यूनिक एवरी एस हैज टू बी यूनिक I'm just giving a very general, broad outline of how you can start thinking about your SOP. But in some situations, you just have to, you know, make the best of what they are. All right. Now, one one very important point is do not plagiarize. Extremely important. Is me. आप कभी plagiarize मत करेगा because uh, if you think a one line, two line, be my copy कहीं से कर लूँ and it'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. बिकॉज योर देर आज कल बहुत अच्छे सॉफ्टवेयर हैं हर यूनिवर्सिटी उसको यूज करती है अगर इंटरनेट पे आपको मिल सकता है तो इंटरनेट पे उनको भी जरूर मिल जाएगा ये याद रखिएगा ये हमने एस एस डी एस ए के एप्लीकेशन में भी देखा था ऐसा पहले था हमारा जो अब एस एस डी एस ए है उसमें एप्लीकेशन में भी अक्सर स्टूडेंट्स कॉपी पेस्ट कर देते हैं इंटरनेट पे गूगल करके या एक दूसरे का रिमेंबर There are algorithms now. There are softwares now that can easily identify ये copy है. And please keep in mind कि अगर आपका छोटा सा भी incident episode है copying का, you will be disqualified without a doubt. Immediately you will be disqualified. So please, please request कर रहा हूँ मैं आप लोगों से कि इसको एक बहुत seriously इस इस चीज को लीजिएगा. कहीं से और किसी से भी कभी अपना एसओपी कॉपी मत करिएगा ना किसी इसके साथ शेयर करिएगा अपने किसी दोस्त के साथ अनलेस आपका बहुत अच्छा दोस्त है एंड यू बिलीव आप यू ट्रस्ट कि वो दोस्त आपका कॉपी नहीं करेगा बिकॉज इफ यू एंड अप अप्लाइंग टू द सेम यूनिवर्सिटी बोथ ऑफ यू विल गेट डिस्कालीफाइड रिमेंबर दैट इवन इफ द यूनिवर्सिटी समटाइम्स यूनिवर्सिटीज विल होल्ड डेटा बेस इवन इफ योर एस ओ पी योर फ्रेंड एस ओ पी शोज अप ऑन डेटा बेस यू विल बी डिस्कालीफाइड इवन दो यू मे बी दिजनल राइटर सो डोंट कॉपी डोंट लेट एनी वन एल्स कॉपी फ्रॉम योर सचिन का क्वेश्चन कैन बी सेंड आर ओन एंड सेम एस ओ पी टू टू मूव यूनिवर्सिटी एब्सोल्यूटली Absolutely, that is your SOP. That is your story. You cannot expect to have a separate, a new story every time. You can, but like I said, it has to be customized to that university, right? That question of why this university, that has to be customized. So, let's go to the next slide and see. Look at a couple of examples. Um, why is it important to keep it simple, right? Okay. Ye ye paragraph. I I just want everyone to read very quickly. some student has said how my love and alacrity for nature eventually transformed into a profound interest in biological science and research okay my question is kitne log hain aise jinko ye samajh mein aaya ye yellow text jo hai jinko ye samajh mein aaya ki student kya kehna cha raha hai ye cha rahi hai how how many students have understood 
If you have, that's awesome. Because when I first read this, I did not understand what that student was trying to say. More importantly, uh, if you um, try and move forward, Rajat. Yeah, more importantly, if you look up the dictionary, alacrity means promptness in response. I have no idea what the sentence means even more because now I know the meaning of alacrity. So the important thing is to remember, Zada complicate kanniki questions are worth nahi hai. You will you are not being judged on the the you know the quality of your word use. You are being judged on how logical your sentences are. Okay. So ye hamesha yad rakhega extremely important. Focus on keeping your sentences logical. They just have to make sense and they have to be very, very clear in what you're trying to say. Don't complicate, don't over engineer the sentences. Just keep it simple. Uh, if you if, if hit another um, once more, Rajat, can we go much more? In green, I wanted to be a famous wildlife biologist. I was very much influenced by you know, animals, forest hills, water. Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin was my de facto childhood hero. That's great. I love that. I mean, I, I mean, I really watched, loved watching Steve Irwin too on uh, Animal Planet. The problem is this application is for a degree in genetics, right? Why are you wasting your word limit on, on things that are not relevant, especially because it has no way of tying back to what you're doing today? So that is that is why it is really important. And again, I just want to emphasize that I'm not showing you entertainment for your entertainment. I'm showing you examples this way because 95% of the students that write, share their first draft with us make these mistakes, very similar mistakes. Keep it simple. Keep it relevant to your application. Next slide, please. A very common example and I'm sure if you haven't done it, it must have crossed your mind. People start their SOP with a quote. Don't, don't do that. It's your personal story. Right? I mean, don't start your story with someone else's quote because that is not why you became what you did, right? I mean, unless in an, until if I uh, hit, can, can you roll next, Rajan? Unless and until it is something that is so profound that Don't be forced or don't be pressured to start your SOP with a quote. Personally, I don't like quotes at all in an SOP because I just think that they are fillers. I just think that they make the student come across as fake. Personally, that is my personal opinion. But... Like I said, every SOP is unique. If that is your personality, it should come across. And if you think that there is a code that has made a very, very significant you know, impact on your life, then by all means, include it. But please don't start your SOP with that. All right, let's go to the next slide. And then the third part, right? I have said three steps in your SOP writing. First, define your framework. Dusra tha connecting the dots, so, you know, fleshing out your draft, first draft. And then the third is, make it personal. Now you have to mail, craft your story. Aapne bullet points mein, within your framework, aapne sare bullet points lekh liye hain. Ab isko aap kaise string together karenge? Aap throwingle kaise words ko to make a story, right? You have to make it personal. You go to the next slide, please. You have to personalize your SOP. And there, you remember that the unique story is going to be a differentiating story. If you start with a quote, and you start with a quote, you start with a quote, and you start with a quote, I started doing, uh, you know, I, I took admission here, and I, uh, I came second, and then I went and did this research, and then I did this. Okay, great. Will the admission committee remember you? Probably not. Because there's no way for you to stand out. But if you tell your story, your real story, without being fake, so remember, you always have to be truthful because 
ये बहुत ट्रेंड एक्सपर्ट्स होते हैं प्रोफेशनल्स होते हैं जो रिव्यू करते हैं एप्लीकेशन दे कैन सी थ्रू फेक यू नो स्टोरीज सो ऑलवेज बी ट्रूथफुल बट हैव अ स्टोरी समथिंग दैट इज यूनिक समथिंग दैट बेसिकली टेल्स पीपल वॉट इज योर मोटिवेशन एंड दैट शुड ऑलवेज बी द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ राइट दैट शुड बी योर ओपनिंग सो यू हैव टू पर्सनलाइज द ओपनिंग एंड दी एंड ओपनिंग में यू हैव टू से वॉट मोटिवेट्स यू टू परस्यू दिस पाथ इट कैन बी एनी थिंग ऑनेस्टली इट कैन बी एनी थिंग मैंने बहुत मैंने कम से कम यू नो सैकड़ों आई कॉन्ट प्लेट पुट अ नंबर ऑन दिस राइट नाउ बट सैकड़ों एस ओ पीज पढ़े हैं और रिव्यू किए हैं स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एंड सब अलग अलग तरीके से स्टार्ट करते हैं एंड कोई अच्छा और गलत और सही तरीका नहीं है इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ इज इट रियली ट्रूथफुल एंड इज इट रियली यू नो रेलिवेंट टू टू वट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से एंड इफ इट इज then then just make sure you write it in simple languages and it's fine and i'll give you examples i'll give you a couple of examples right like one of the sops was i remember i still remember ek um, ek student thi unka um, ek neuroscience ke ka application tha aur neuroscience ke application ke liye student ne start kiya with how her younger sister is suffering from uh, autism so brain disorder neurological disorder behavioral disorder so that person started off with saying how her younger sister has autism and how that has encouraged her to learn more about it and find a way to solve it and that is a really impactful story because it's a it's true and b because that really tells the admission committee how motivated and passionate you are and why you want to do this so kal ko agar aapki application kisi aur ke application ke sath almost similar hai neck to neck hai competition mein then that applic admission committee is more likely to say you know what this student is more motivated this student has more passion for this study for this neuroscience research let's get get this student in so so that is how you make your opening right you have to make your opening personal and then you have to end it you have to end it by how is this going to help you achieve your dreams right and that is something that again within your when you are doing your framework you have to start thinking about what are your dreams what do you want to get out of this course and once you decide what you want to get out of this course then you can write this last paragraph of how will this education help you achieve your dreams right whether it is opening your own research lab academic lab whether whether it is to go join the industry whether it is to um become a management professional uh whatever it is how will this degree help you achieve that and you have to think about it right and you have to write it isko aapko koi ready made templates nahi dega you have to start thinking about these things yourself don't just tell them maine pehle bhi ye baat kahi thi main phir kahunga it will keep coming back don't just tell them what you did tell them why you did it how has that shaped your career choices right i mean if you went and did a research in a ocean uh, in the ocean for two months why did you do it that is more important right how did that shape your career choices well you decided that there is pollution and you want to become a doc- uh, lawyer to sue the corporates for that 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 is what the sop is looking for let's go to the next line now this is an example of why should you not exaggerate right a uh, ek student ne likha all credit goes to benjamin pierce who authored my favorite book genetics a conceptual approach can you uh, hit next rajat please what's the problem here a textbook on genetics someone's favorite book really ye itna bada it's okay here's the thing this is not a cardinal mistake right this is not something that will get you chopped but it still an exaggeration and jab to jab koi padhta hai usko as soon as that person reads this that person has already made a, an impression in their mind ke ye jo likha hai jis student ne likha hai this student is very uh, um you know um, prone for hyperbole prone to exaggerate yeah, this student exaggerates 
क्योंकि नो वन नो वन फेवरेट बुक इज जेनेटिक्स कंसेप्चुअल अप्रोच राइट देन यू वंस मोर रजत नेक्स्ट there's another example where a student said a full paragraph on how marks or transcripts are not you know a good reflection of someone's intelligence and for an academic record does not make a good researcher and a researcher should not necessarily be good in marks scoring marks but should be good at independent ideas you know what i agree this is this is true i completely agree completely agree but what was the student trying to do here the student was only trying to hide their own grades student ke grade acche nahi the and wo justify karne ke liye us student ne pura ek paragraph likha on how it grades don't matter and that's not right because aapne itna sara word itne sare words ko waste kiya ye ek faltu ek opinion piece ke liye ek philosophy share karne ke liye which the the admission committee may or may not agree with you right so why do you want to take that risk they may or may not agree with you you've just wasted so many words and you haven't said a single thing about yourself so this is a waste of space don't do don't don't get into that don't make mistakes where you know instead of uh, you know focusing on yourself you uh, you know you basically um, go on tangents don't do that don't share personal opinions don't share philosophy let's go to the next slide this is another example um jisko aap padhenge so let's read it i had a childhood this is the first opening okay this is the opening motivation jo main kehta hu na this is the motivation i had a childhood dream of pursuing my graduate studies from the usa or some country in the west that is home to the best universities while writing this personal statement i can smell the fragrance of success that my dream is on the verge of being achieved i am i am very glad that that the student feels this way i am very glad that student is feeling so good today and can smell the fragrance of success the problem is it's a very superficial motivation ke aap us mein aap is university mein kyu apply karna chahte hain क्योंकि साहब मैं यूएस भागना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि मैं किसी तरह यूएस पहुंचना चाहता हूँ दैट इज नॉट अ गुड इनफ मोटिवेशन राइट आई होप आई होप दैट इज नॉट ट्रू आई होप दैट इज नॉट वाई ऑल ऑफ यू आर आर डूइंग व्हाट यू आर डूइंग बट इवन इफ इट इज देन प्लीज डोंट टेल एनी वन प्लीज डोंट टेल अस एंड प्लीज डोंट टेल द एडमिशन कमिटी बिकॉज दिस विल नेवर गेट यू एन एडमिशन द नेक्स्ट लाइन i know we are at the end of our time so uh, very quickly in the next uh, few minutes i'll wrap up um we have uh, an example here jahan pe is student ne bataya hai ke how that student um basically took on some leadership role in the student council and then uh, the students grades started to suffer so the student basically uh, resigned and then as soon as the grades improved the student came back and then again the grades started to uh, to, to resign okay what is the problem with this the problem is the student is trying to talk about a leadership experience but the student is giving a very negative experience from this can we go to the next the admission committee will what what will they get out of this they will read this as a sign ke student se multitasking nahi ho sakti ye student jo hai isko aap do cheeze de denge to ye dono fail karega if right i mean that's that's the impression you are giving to the admission committee as soon as someone reads this that person will think that i cannot you know i cannot trust this student with more than one responsibility because clearly this student has you know cannot multitask can you go next please so what what is uh, an alternative way how could this paragraph have been phrased a positive way to write would be i gained valuable leadership experience as a student representative blah 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 jo aapko likhna hai apne activity council ke bare mein and served in the council for 2 years after which i stepped down to focus my full attention on my academic training right now what what did this achieve what the first paragraph did not achieve 
what these lines achieved is it communicated to the admission committee that you were a leader you gained valuable positive experience out of it so you come out a better person you were there for 2 years overall total and you stepped down because academics was more important to you right so again it's not the content only it's also how you present the content so all the student ke ke sari jo points jo aapne niche aap purple box mein pad rahe hain the nothing is new there it is all from the paragraph above but it's just a different way of presenting it in a positive light right let's go to the next slide so this is a, a good I, i would say this is a good example you know this student wrote a good sop and said you know they've been uh, uh, although i do have a problem with again some words like in the first sentence if you read read i have been a very tolerant zealous and dedicated individual i i don't know why someone might read to call themselves zealous right i mean everyone i understand i know what zeal means i'm sure everyone here knows what zeal means if not we can always go back to the dictionary and look it up but when was the last time you heard someone call themselves zealous no 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 i, I mean never no one no one calls themselves zealous so why do you want to write it no don't do that just keep it simple keep it simple you know if you want to say zealous just say enthusiastic i'm a very tolerant enthusiastic and dedicated individual now what is the second problem with this first sentence line tolerant what does tolerance have to do with your application unless and until aap ka koi valid reason hai ki aap tolerance likhna chahte hain uh, you know, given the political environment which i still again strongly advise against why do you what, what is the relevance of that word think about it right why why are you saying tolerant here so you start off with you know um something something there and then uh, you know you you make sure that uh, your words make sense to you and the words will make sense to someone else and they are relevant now let's um, can, can you go next please is sop is paragraph ko in do paragraph is par paragraph ko jo humne finally refine kiya working with the student we worked several rounds we were able to finally come up with a more structured and a more logical flow in the same content the same content jo hai jisme student ko and i won't read through this um, you know if you get the presentation later you can go through this in detail but you will see what this second version iteration is trying to do is basically trying to um, apply some logic and some structure to that so 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 that's basically what you know i was trying to say there's a question that just came in we shouldn't show our weakness of doing from shanavas of doing more than one task at a time it will give the negative effect yes i agree uh, you shouldn't show any anything negative if you want to talk about a shortcoming and that is okay you know if there's a shortcoming that's okay but you have to talk about the shortcoming in a positive light right you have to say what you learn out of the shortcoming and something positive about it so so that i that is my you know um advice ke apne uh, sop mein aap uh, don't spend half a paragraph or one paragraph writing about how you you know you have failed or how you have been you know un- unsuccessful if you want to talk about those things because they matter uh, to your story then and then then give an impact what you know how is that relevant to what you will be next so uh, i know um, so what do you want to do uh, ali and rajat uh, we are running out of time uh, we have yeah. two more slides yeah and like you can go ahead continue it's okay uh, i can continue for a couple minutes i think this is very important and it's okay completely fine and then after that okay. um, you can give some do's and don'ts to only scholars who will be submitting their sop and then a couple a one or two minutes for i will ask rajat and was equal to speak on their experience recent experience with sop go ahead okay uh, okay i'm sorry for uh, for shooting over 
But no, um, there is one more question from Sachin Gupta. Should we mention about the year gap we took before applying to PhD? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's it's not a negative, right? I mean, it's not a negative, and and even if it's a negative, uh, it will show up on your resume. So instead of the admission committee trying to guess what you did with your year, you should tell them what you did. So if your resume has a gap in your resume, if you have dropped it for medical or engineering, or there is any such thing that you think that there is a big issue that can become a big so then you should definitely get ahead of the of the curve and control the narrative. Right? You should control your story. Instead of letting people assume, you should tell them. So, um, so yes, you should definitely mention that about your gap year if it is relevant. So, um, may I, I'm not going to spend too much time on the, the this, this slide and the next. Uh, this is very, very uh, mostly, you know, stuff that we've talked about. Be honest, be straightforward, use formal language, um, describe your motivations and impact, customize your draft for every application, be careful of the world limit. And please, if you want us to review, then please start early so we have enough time to work with you to refine it. Because it will, it will take, in many cases, it takes three or four rounds of revisions. So, so if you want to get a strong SOP out of working with us, collaborating with us, if you want to use our best use kar sake hai, is resource, ke liye, then please start early. Give us time. Give yourself time to do that. Next slide, please. Again, I cannot emphasize enough. Do not plagiarize. Right? Do not plagiarize. No unnecessary quotes, philosophy, Exaggerate mat kariye, misrepresent mat kariye ga apne aapko. Negative mat hoiye. Ek student ka mujhe yaad hai, abhi tak yaad hai mujhe. Ek student ne, just because that student wanted to um, communicate the, how they want to work for the best, you know, facilities in the U.S., how the labs have all the facilities. That student basically started off by bashing AMU for, you know, like one full paragraph of how we have nothing in the labs, how we have no reagents, how we have no guidance, how we have nothing. And that is why I want to go to the U.S. to do this research. Please don't do that. Please don't do that because if you are negative about your current alma mater, your next institution will never take you seriously. They will not like it. No one likes it if you bash your own organization or your own university. So always stay positive. I'm not saying that you can say you can say that, you know, while I got extremely strong, and, and this is what we ended up doing with that student, as we said, while, you know, we I got very, very strong academic training uh, from the uh, academic syllabus, uh, my research experience uh, was not, you know, as strong as I would have liked because due to limited, you know, resources. And that is why I would like to do. So it's just a way of how you phrase it. Uh, Shanova said it is a must to have a research experience to apply for PhD program. It's not a must, but it helps. It helps a lot. Um, what one should do in such cases? Uh, if you don't have research experience, I would say that uh, if application tak ka aapko jo time hai, agar possible, ho, to aap usme kuch research experience. Lijiye. Chahe to volunteer kariye. Uh, you know, go to... Uh, uh, a department, uh, a faculty member, and ask them, ke, uh, sir, agar, sir, madam, jogi hai, agar main free mein internship aapke saath karna chahta hai, I just want to come and learn in your lab. Aapke students ke saath, aapke PhD students ke saath, main kaam karna chahta hai, just to learn. Just go and offer your, uh, you know, services, volunteer. From now until you apply, get two or three months of experience. If you are applying next year, then make sure you try to find an, you know, summer internship or um, winter internship or something like that. So try to get that experience because it really helps. Uh, that is all from my end. Uh, please, uh, Ali, and I'm again sorry for going 10 minutes over because I think we started late. So I'm sorry. No, thank you so much, Hanvai. I think I think that was, that was a very, very good session. I really loved it. Everything was very critical from application perspective for all those people who are applying this year and as well as for next year. So. Uh, so I hope everybody took note. We'll be following up with materials, uh, presentation copy, and more draft examples. And obviously, Ranbhai, do you have any 
uh, anything to say to scholars who will be sending their SOP before I uh, ask Rajat and was equal to share the experience. Uh, no, like I said, just just start early. That's all. Just start Absolutely. early. Give us uh, give us enough time. Give yourself enough time to to work with you. Absolutely. Thank you, Ranveer. Uh, so if you send your SOP you know, four days before you apply, then uh, we won't be able to help you much and you will end up applying with a weak SOP. Absolutely. And with that, it's also that every university has a different word limit. So sometimes you have 1,500 word limits because you have 10 universities from 6 universities from 1,500 words. They are reviewed. But you have to know that you have 500 words from SOP. Which, which, uh, engineering college. So, and then it's very hard to cut down that long SOP that you wrote. So I actually, Joby scholars and Joby non-scholars said because obviously the people who joined uh, from the university, a legal university, those scholars name so if they want the uh, SOP to be reviewed, make sure that you know the word limit for different universities and make and tailor your SOP accordingly and then send it out uh, in time so that we have enough time to review. Uh, actually, I hand it over to Vasikul. Vasikul, if you have a minute to share uh, about your experience uh, of SOP, how it's been important. Uh, uh, we have time checks, so uh, if you can wrap up in one minute, that would be perfect. Thank you so much. Vasikul, you there? Uh, actually, most of the things, uh, <laughs> uh, all the things, all the important things are already covered by Ram Bhai. And for my experience, I can say that uh, I also took uh, help from Rehan Bhai, Rehan Bhai helped me to write my own SOP when I was applying. So, yeah, so what uh, the point which Ali Muzaffar Bhai just mentioned, I also wanted to mention that, that the SOP uh, requirement actually changes from university to university. Sometimes they ask for in one page SOP, sometimes they ask two page SOP, sometimes they ask uh, to include the, your research experience also sometimes. Uh, briefly I mentioned they ask to uh, you to mention briefly your research experience in that sometimes they say that no we want a different SOP and different research proposal so you have to be careful about uh, the requirement of the university where you are applying so that was my main and otherwise I think all the thing all the Im other important points are thank you so much thank you so much was it cool uh, thank you, Seiko. Uh, Rajat, do you have anything to add with your recent experience that you had? Like, I, th I know that you just joined. This. Rajat is uh, everybody. Rajat is a scholar who actually was in your shoe one year back. One year back, so he he know what it was the pain and everything. Rajat, can you just uh, share some of your experience? Yeah, definitely. Most of the points uh, are definitely covered. This was a great session. Uh, I just wanted to add that for me, uh, it was. Uh, I I was very fortunate to start early uh, for my SOP, so uh, I I gave my SOP almost like seven to eight rounds of iteration, so so that to improve my uh, on my SOP. My first draft was very bulky and very bad, I would say, <laughs> but the end result was definitely good, and all because of uh, the mentorship from CESA now SSGSA. And I, uh, I, I would also suggest uh, all the scholars to run your SOP by all the seniors, the professors, or anybody who who, uh, who would help you and review your SOP because you get a different perspective from everybody and how uh, it's just like uh, I have written a sentence and I would uh, I, I'm thinking that uh, somebody would perceive this sentence to be good. But uh, if you run by that sentence or that paragraph with somebody else, he, he might think differently. So you get a perspective of how admission committee would think of what you have written in your SOP. So I would definitely recommend everyone to run by uh, your seniors, your professors, your uh, elders, your family members, anybody and everybody who would give a different perspective on your SOP. So that you could uh, you could improve your SOP with every iteration. Thank you, Rajat. I think that was a very interesting perspective. I I, I agree with you. Uh, on my two cents, am I adding to what Rambai has already covered everything? As uh, is, I know that some of in some of the cases we we don't um, we don't have a story from the beginning. I mean, like sometimes we just pick a branch of engineering just because we fall into it, right? Because uh, we got into this. Uh, uh, engineering college, but our our 
branch was selected why it didn't call it because of our scores and everything. And then we followed the path. Um, the thing is, uh, if you're continuing, if you, I'm assuming that you're applying for a graduate school after your third year, if you're continuing out for a at your final year, if you if you continue so far, if you have performed so well, there has to be a story. There has to be a motivation in that story. That's a good point. Uh, That's a very uh, good point, Ali. So uh, they have to find that story. Sometimes we we go in oblivion. I'm so thinking that there is no story. We have to computer it. It's a daily. We have no 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 story. You have done so well. You have started. You have done something. 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 You have to give yourself credit. We forget about that. We have to give credit. Make yourself find your story. Connect the dots. Just like I have done. I think uh, inshallah you all are. Uh, आपने ज्वाइन किया है कॉल देर हैज टू बी मोटिवेशन टू ज्वाइन द कॉल तो फाइंड दैट मोटिवेशन एंड देन राइट योर एसओपी एंड शेयर विद अस ऑब्वियसली विल रिफाइन इट बट द होमवर्क हैज टू बी डन फ्रॉम यू सो थैंक यू सो मच रैन भाई रैन भाई इन इन कमेंट्स फ्रॉम यू समवन आस्क अनदर क्वेश्चन रोशन दैट इफ समवन वांट टू लीव पीएचडी फ्रॉम एन इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट एंड वांट टू जॉइन इन यूएसए देन वेदर ही शुड मेंशन इट इन हिज एसओपी और नॉट Yeah, I, I can take that question. I absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You must, you must mention it because आप इसके पास option पर ये है कि या तो आप ये ना दिखाएं कि आप currently आप PhD कहीं कर रहे हैं, तो फिर आपका वो gap year आपको justify करना पड़ेगा कि आप पिछले दो साल से कर क्या रहे थे, या फिर आप ये दिखाएं कि आप PhD में enrolled हैं, लेकिन so resume में आपको दिखाना पड़ेगा, फिर especially आप जब apply करेंगे transcripts और जो और चीजें होती हैं उसके लिए आपको दिखाना पड़ेगा वे यू आर राइट नाउ सो यू मस्ट मेंशन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग करेंटली एंड देन यू हैव टू जस्टिफाई इट राइट आपके पास कोई वजह होगी कि आप क्यों वो पीएचडी छोड़ना चाहते हैं या तो आपको रिसर्च में आपको लगता है कि और अच्छी कटिंग एज रिसर्च आपको करनी है और आप जो सोच के आए थे वो आपको नहीं मिला या फिर आप ये करना चाहते हैं कि आपको ब्रॉडर एक्सपोजर चाहिए टू you know skills here yeah, uh, to technology whatever your motivation is for uh, leaving your current phd and joining a us institute you should mention that to justify why you are saying it again remember i said it's not about what you did or what you're doing it's about why in your sop so so yes you should mention it and explain why <laughs> any more question somebody mm-hmm. also asked about the contacts uh, of rehan bhai and everyone so i think uh, if a uh, contact rehan bhai i think you can reach out uh, we already have yeah. the details so you have in the last slide correct is that right um am i yeah con- contact at the rate at ssgsa.us yeah. Yeah. So if you have, uh, you know, even if you are an SSGSA scholar or not, uh, I think uh, we have this um, SSGSA dot uh, US contacted SSGSA dot US. This a pure executive team के पास जिसके पास relevant होगा उसके पास पहुंच जाएगा. So if you have a question that is relevant to resume, you know, it will go to the right person. If you have a question relevant to SOP, it will go to the right person. So uh, this is a good place to consolidate all your questions. So if you have any questions, uh, so we have uh, like uh, this. This was a very interactive session. I'm glad you asked questions, uh, uh, and uh, we have been addressing the question. I hope you're taking the notes. So if you have any question at the end, uh, this is the time to ask the question and kind of raise your voice because you were on mute, but now you guys are unmuted. So go ahead, please ask the question. So if you have any question, just press the ask question button, and we'll unmute you according to the queue.
Any question, anybody? Okay, no. I, uh, hmm. Vibhu, um, Vibhu has a question. Okay, I just see. Oh. Vibhu. Let me yeah, Vibhu, see. go ahead. Uh, let me just unmute him. Mm. Just a sec. Okay. Yeah, Vibhu, go ahead. Hello. Am I audible? Uh, your voice is very uh, feeble. Hello. Hello. Can you just increase the volume? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, just go ahead and ask the question. We can just understand you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, good morning, Rayan Bhai. Uh, I think you are very much. And Dr. Bhai. Good morning. Uh, yeah. Uh, my question, uh, it's not related basically to SOP, but it's related to uh, the points that you just said uh, while uh, uh, framing the framework for the SOP like university. For university, uh, you, we have to consider why we are opting for a university, for a particular university based on its ranking, based on its program or whatever. So my question is how to list out the universities from all these universities and all these rankings that we have on internet. I have gone through the links and uh, I have also listed out many universities but uh, okay uh, I have a particular program in my mind like uh, I want to pursue in this this area but how to what are the steps to uh, list out to uh, finalize or to um, what can, what should I say make a make a, that, that's a good that's a good question uh, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for that question. It's a very good question. Uh, how do you select universities? Uh, my understanding is that uh, uh, you have uh, either already held a uh, webinar or you might be able to uh, shed yeah, more would. light on this. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I just want to very just, I, I want to say, you know, a couple of words and then hand it over to Vasikul and Ali Muzaffar and Rajat. But uh, my take on this is that you select के आपके interest में क्या है universities right पहला आपके सबसे पहले होना चाहिए के is there something that you know in that university that matches your interest क्योंकि अगर आपका interest मैं नहीं जानता आपका क्या background है but मैं you know making it up अगर आपका interest uh, um, uh, neuro degeneration में है और उस university में नहीं है neuro degeneration then it's not a good fit for you so that is the first thing that is it does it match your interest the second thing is the way I say is um, uh, my my advice to most students is that you have a range of universities that you identify. Career, two three of your universities top tier universities will be, two three of your mid tier universities will be in ranking, and two three of your low level universities will be uh, low tier. Low tier means backup universities. के एडमिशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन आपका स्कोर कैसे आता है डिपेंडिंग ऑन आपके आ, क्या आपके मेरिट का कैसा आपका वो है एकेडमिक मेरिट यू विल बेसिकली सेलेक्ट अ रेंज ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज के यू हैव अ यू टेक अ शॉट एट टॉप टियर यू हैव अ गुड शॉट एट मिड टियर एंड देन यू हैव बैकअप एंड लो टियर सो दैट इज हाउ यू शुड स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट सेलेक्टिंग uh, you know, five to seven universities, and then after that, you shortlist all kinds of things you want. And I'll let um, Vasikul Ali and Rajat, you know, talk to this if they want. Yeah, Vasikul, you can go ahead. Uh, you can uh, unmute it. Yeah, you are. Yep, you're unmuted. Yep. Hello. Yeah, we yeah, can you can hear, we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Can hear so, so, uh, uh, so yes. Uh, so what Rayan Bhai said, actually, I completely agree with each point that uh, I will say that sometimes uh, many students don't go only for ranking that uh, but uh, my understanding is that if you are interested for PhD for research that that, that uh, ranking should not be the on the parameter because what is more important is suppose if you are interested in a particular field of research so you should you should see that who are the leaders of that field, who are the best professors, who are the best researchers, okay. well, what are the best research groups, whether they have funding, 
whether they have they have, they have a very good uh, uh, wh whether the the exact topic in which you are interested to work, work on so whether uh, you works on the exact same topic so these things so uh, many times people only uh, rank, uh, list their universities based on ranking but uh, I, I think that if you are interested for research then your main uh, focus uh, should be about the research group funding uh, yeah the whether he is doing cutting edge research those kind of things okay thank we you have a few cool. more questions uh, we have yep, a question and before well, uh, before uh, just, uh, before we take the last question, uh, I just have to add to that uh, what mm -hmm. was equal said. What we could mention from the research perspective, what I also want to emphasize on the professional perspective is that you have to network. I mean, uh, some of the universities, even though they have good ranking and everything, you have to reach out to people who are in that university, who graduated from the university. So like last webinar, we did the networking thing. That actually comes into the picture. Uh, we do uh, in this university selection list. That means if you reach out to, for example, if you want to apply to UC Irvine, ask me who actually already graduated from UC Irvine. Uh, if you want to apply for USC, ask Rajat Khan Goel who are, who is currently doing it. What is the scope of job and all those perspectives from professional life? Obviously, uh, uh, what he could mention about research, and that is easy to find because you can find the main research uh, people or professors in the university. But the core thing about professional problem is what number of jobs, that is not very easily available or that experience. So that's two different perspectives, professional and researcher. So I think uh, we have over time, but uh, the last question, Rajat. Mm -hmm. uh, this take. is from Meerat. Uh, okay, Meerat, you are unmuted. Uh, go ahead. Assalamualaikum to all. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, because you talked of honesty and also you showed a sample of SOPs. Now these SOPs used higher vocabulary, with higher vocabulary. Now, when I am uh, talking about myself, I am not comfortable with using higher vocabulary because I feel that I am faking myself out. Uh, when I use words of uh, like when I use uh, normal words which I use to normal conversations, that is when I feel I'm being honest. Now, how do you think I should write my SOP being honest and on fake? Like, I know higher vocabulary sounds impressive, but for me that is not, I'm not being honest when I'm using that. That's a great question. That's actually, uh, thank you for asking that. I was talking about exactly the same thing. Ke, don't use higher vocabulary unnecessary. That is something that, you know, I've, I've, um, I hope I've impressed enough during this con the presentation. There is no need to use bombastic words. There is no need. There is no compulsion. And many, many, many students, I cannot tell you how many students fall into this trap. They feel that jitne uh, bhari words, jiari words seek rahein, utne SOP mein apply karein taake usko SOP aur achcha ho jaye. It is not needed. You just need simple, effective words. You need the right words. You don't need the bombastic words. So, Mirad, don't don't feel pressure to use um, you know high vocabulary. Uh, just 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 use simple, straightforward but effective vocabulary. As long as it is formal vocabulary, it is fine. Yes, thank you. I think there's, there's one question online. Uh, yes, from, uh, and I will uh, take those questions, and I, I think uh, you can. Um, close the uh, Q and A. If you have any question, yeah. I think um, because uh, so. Thank so, you so much uh, for asking the question. Yes, Ryan, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just wanted very quickly. So, uh, Afreen has two questions. Um, um, SOP and motivation letter. Yes, if they are asking separately, then they should be different, separate. So then your statement of purpose becomes your future, and your basically why wh what why you want to join this university this university and how will it achieve your help you achieve your dreams and then your motivation letter becomes your past why did you make the choices you made along the way uh, how does you know how do you justify your resume so that becomes the separation okay uh, i hope that is clear the okay, motivation letter apne ab tak kya kiya wo kaise kyun kiya and SOP, which is forward-looking 
SOP Hogavo. So that will be the uh, difference. Uh, the second question, reason for selecting potential supervisor, what specific thing should be mentioned? I think that is something that Vasikul was just talking about right now. So uh, hopefully you got the answer, but just to summarize, it should be uh, the research interest, whether it matches you or not. Uh, it should be their publication profile. It should be their funding situation. It should be, uh, you know, it can even be location. I mean, it can be anything. So, so yeah, that you know, that that is the those are the questions that um, Vasikul yeah, we have a, you described it, and if you have more questions yeah. on that, uh, please feel free to reach out, and uh, Vasikul can get back to you in more detail. Absolutely. And I have a last question here. I think we missed it. Uh, Shahnawaz's question is: How should we? Uh, how should one answer the question why we are selecting a particular university? Because we cannot describe each university as the best one. Right. Uh, I think that's Ali uh, Abi That is what we were yeah. talking about just now. You know, in much detail, the last you know yeah, couple okay. of questions touched upon this. So uh, hopefully, Shanavas go answer mil gaya Yep. Uh, so I think that is it. Uh, 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 Rehan, bhai, just one last mm-hmm. question from my side. Actually, some people have asked me this question, and I think you. So uh, some people ask that suppose some some student have already talked to some professor and the professor agreed. Uh, professor said that okay, uh, go ahead and apply. So whether in his SOP he should mention that he has talked to that professor or not? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You should most definitely mention, mention that because admission committee ko ye lagta hai, wo communicate karte hain aap ke you are proactive and you have a lot of interest and. You know, you have already taken steps to identify labs. And this is also that the admission committee will reach out to the professor who has written his name and reach out to the and uh, confirm kare ke bhai, uh, what do you think. And if that professor says, yes, I really like him, take him because I will take him in his lab or her in my lab, then, you know, that, that makes your life much better. However, extremely important. This is really, really, really important. You don't want to run the risk of saying that मुझे इस university में इस इस professor के साथ काम करना है सिर्फ क्योंकि क्या होता है कि अगर किसी वजह से funding की वजह से किसी और वजह से वो professor ये कह देता है admission committee को के I don't know I'm not so sure about it anymore तो आपको you won't get admission because you express an interest in one professor. So you mm-hmm. always, even if you spoke to one professor, you always mention about that professor. But then in the next sentence, you always write that, uh, you know, in addition, uh, you know, professors X, Y, and Z uh, are also, you know, um, doing uh, incredible research. And I would be very much interested in, you know, joining their labs, exploring an opportunity to join their labs as well. So basically, you should always keep your options open. And, uh, I, I want to. Uh, I want to just Correct. add one, one more thing. That actually, uh, before mentioning his name, you may wish to ask your professor that, sir, whether uh, whether I should mention uh, your, because I, I I can remember one instance where one of my friend was applying, and the professor told him that look, I am in, I am also in the admission committee, so you just mention my name. That you are interested in my in my research, but don't don't say that I have encouraged you to so and so. It is sometimes good to uh, ju- just to uh, ask him that whether I should mm-hmm. mention your name or not. Good point. Good point. Uh, Rahm, Rahm bhai, uh, I this is a connected question, and the uh, uh, question is that sometimes in university, there are many professors who are doing your research and match with them. So, is this negative? If you have two, three, because many many people ask me, two, three, two people do more. Uh, दो, 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 दो तीन is okay. I think two तीन is okay. I think two 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 is okay. I uh, you know, X, Y, and Z. So, and that's okay. And when you approach them, you will write them to them that you want to join your lab. You know, I only want to join your lab. You can keep it open-ended. I would like to explore the opportunity 
to join your group. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ambai. I think yeah. that answered all the questions, and I think uh, this was a very useful session. Thank you so much, Ambai, for your time. Uh, Thank you very you much know, for this opportunity, uh, and, uh, and I hope uh, you know if, if people have more questions, then please send it to contact at ssga.bsa. dot uh, is us or com, but uh, and and dot us, and then uh, we will follow up. Yeah. Thank you, Rambai. I uh, everybody. If, I hope this session was very useful. I I would like to actually thank uh, Rajat for uh, at least too early for him in the West Coast, 7 a.m. I mean the East Coast. Uh, so Rajat, thank you for joining and coordinating this call. Uh, well, yes, thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you very much, Rajat. I agree. Thank you very much, Rajat. And and thank you, thank you, Wasiku, for your time, and thank you again, Rambai. Uh, I hope everybody take notes. And if you have any question, as Rambai said, uh, contact us. So for scholars, make sure that you're doing your homework. Make sure that you take notes and making sure that you are going to reach out to us with your SOP time, and then keep it early so that to be you know you have enough time to review. Uh, we have enough time to review as well. And thank you so much, Anbai, and everybody for joining the call. I think that is it. Um, see you next time in the next webinar. I think the next webinar will be on select, selecting universities and research areas. So look for uh, look for the details for that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye.